am so glad for open roads that aren't closed because this is the current state of Houston <laughs> where I live, where my apartment is uh, after uh, Hurricane Beryl. This is how many roads are closed. Every road, <laughs> not this road, this road is open. I'm going to my first trailhead on old San Isabel Road. This is San Isabel National Forest. Oh, it's so good to be back in forest again. Oh, it's so pretty. The mountains are fine, like Angel Fire is, you know, great, but mountains tend to be kind of drab at the top, you know, because you're on a mountain, but these are lush. This is lush, lush, lush. So let me go down here, and it's right at the end of this road. Oh, it feels glorious out here. So this is BLM. So there's also a little campsite right over there that has a fire pit. So you can camp in there. Uh, this says it's open to the public. There's also a digger for some reason. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think he's working today. Anyway, so the trail starts over there. There's just a little, uh, little tiny little mud road that you go down um, to get to, I think that's, well, I think you can keep going. I pulled in here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So over here, you can see here, make sure no mice get into my van. But anyway, you can keep going down this road. I don't feel like doing that. Um, but you can basically just park anywhere in here as well. So I just parked here, so that should be fine. Uh, I'm in the sun. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. Okay, so the trailhead's over there. It's only a four mile trail to the natural arch. So I'm gonna get all geared up, get my bear spray, probably need some uh, bug spray as well for ticks. And I think this is, this is good. So yeah, you can probably fit like a couple cars in here. I don't know if there's a parking lot at the end. I'll see when I get down to the trailhead. But yeah, and after this, I go to the next trail, which is only three miles, and then to the uh, Bishop's Castle. Okay, let's do the hike. <laughs> there's an eyesore. Okay, so I'm gonna go down this road here. If the digger is still there, just go to the right. I'm gonna walk down this way. Bye, Prue. Take care, don't have any mice. Anyway, I saw one little uh, squirrel or something, field mouse. Okay, so let's go. I don't feel any bugs. This is gorgeous. I'm actually in like the high desert part of Colorado. So like Trinidad, all the way south of uh, Colorado Springs. So it's not, I mean, it's pretty high elevation, but it's not necessarily like, you know, like Bug Central, like when I was in Durango and Silverton, where there's like, you know, you just swarms of bugs and everything. But anyway, so yeah, I'm glad I'm not driving down this road. That would have been... <laughs> That would have been not fun anyway. Okay, so yeah, this is a, a two, two miles up, two miles back natural arch. So I just found this on all trails. I just plugged in places to go and people did make a ton of recommendations of hikes, um, which I have to go back and look at that Facebook thread um, because um, I, I just kind of copy and pasted the whole thread into a, a Google doc. And I'm just gonna go through and try to find, you know, what recommendations they have. I don't wanna be doing like, thousands of hikes on this trip actually. I'm good with like, you know, two to three hikes a day if they're, you know, total under like 12 miles. Um, but I don't want to be, you know, doing like total overnight out and back hikes. I could have brought all of my overnight equipment actually, because um, I had the car, um, but I didn't, didn't have time to pack anything up because I was trying to get out of the hurricane. But anyway, okay, so just walk down this road. Gorgeous, gorgeous day. So glad that storm has passed. Anyway, okay, so yeah, this is all BLM. Well, this is private land right here, um, but down here is BLM. So let's go find the trailhead. So I actually have a funny feeling the whole hike is a dirt road, so, which is fine. Uh, the trail starts back where I parked. So um, I'm okay with, you know, hiking up. I guess you could drive, but this is, yeah, this is pretty narrow. And I'm pretty sure you need a four wheel drive to get down this little bit down here. So I would highly recommend walking. You could probably ride a mountain bike too. I don't know, that, was, that looks pretty good too. But anyway, okay, yeah. All right, now we're getting in. Oh, it's cooling down once I get in the shade. There are some bugs, but I don't seem to be like getting bitten by anything. There's more camping spots down here. So I guess you can hike in. That's a cute little spot right by the brook. So I'm actually breaking out the uh, bug net just to, uh, just to be extra safe because it is quite buggy out here, I think. So yeah, so let me, stretch that out a little bit there we go okay I haven't used this since Isle Royale but it works pretty well plus I have the wide brimmed hat so that's good so this should be a bit longer let me figure this out let me just throw this up there <laughs> there we go all right I don't care how stupid I look oh I'm getting bitten in places that should not be biting me there 
this is the third camping spot I found. And like I said, if you have a four wheel drive, you can get down here pretty easily, but I don't know where you would park. I guess just park on the side of the road. Yeah, and if you need a water source, you're right by the, uh, the river. This is great. I'm actually the only person out here. So the, uh, the epitome of solo hiking. And everyone's like, oh, you're so scared of hiking. I'm like, I am more scared of being in a hurricane in Houston than I am being out here, trust me. If your four wheel drive vehicle can make it down here, then you can park in this area. And here's the entrance to the natural arch. Area is closed to motorized vehicles. And there's a bunch of motorized vehicle tracks. Ah, this is beautiful. Oh my God, Colorado, it's good to be back. Okay, let's go. And to let you know, this is the trail. So it's uh, 1.37 miles up. You are here. And we're gonna go up to 1.9 miles up to the arch. So yeah, very short hike. So probably take me not too long to get through, but you are going through here. And there we go. This is so cute. What a cute little sign that somebody like burnt into the wood. You are here. I know I'm here. I'd rather be nowhere else. <laughs> so. This is definitely not a very highly trafficked trail. It's my hidden gem. Don't come here. Stay home. Don't go here. This is my private trail. I'm just kidding. Absolutely come here. The Natural Arch Trail on all trails. And it's... Uh, near Colorado City. So I think I went through Colorado City to get here, which is a cute little town. Um, anyway, so yeah, all the towns look like little postcards out here in the summertime. I'm sure in the winter it's like the roads are impossible. But yeah, Colorado is just absolutely gorgeous in the summer. And I was here last year on the other side in Durango and Silverton. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so this is just kind of like, I really don't know this area though. I know Colorado Springs, I know Denver, I know the national parks, I know Dillon because Harriet's father's family has a timeshare there, but I really don't know like anything, you know, between Santa Fe and Colorado Springs. So this is really great to explore because if I ever in my retirement ever live in Santa Fe, which I would love to do at some point in my life, um, I'm going to be so close to all of this, only like, you know, two or three hours away. So yeah, it's really good to explore. Looks like a spider. That's weird. <laughs> so what a weird tree. The tree's like, I will grow all the branches and hit the ground. And by the way, this hike is extremely mobility accessible. Um, I think it's a little too thin for a um, all-terrain like wheelchair or all-terrain mountain bike. You could probably mountain bike it. Um, but yeah, it's just very, very tame. It's not very steep at all. Um, yeah, and it's just single track. And also very kid friendly for all of us parents, grandparents, aunties, caregivers, friends, um, you know, everybody. <laughs> if, you have, if you have kids with you, definitely come out here and do this hike. But I haven't actually seen the arch yet, so it might be a big disappointment or it might be totally epic. So we'll find out soon. So now you go through this very um, overgrown area so if you do have a, a hat net on like I do, just be careful you don't get snagged. Otherwise it'll just get pulled right off your head. Okay, down we go. So we're going down an elevation, down toward the river, which I think is where the arch is at. Because those arches are made by water. <laughs> Who knew? Anyway, okay, let's go down here. Yeah, this is a little bit, not really that steep, just a little bit dry. Yeah, this is definitely not a very highly trafficked trail. This is fantastic. And I'm also at the end. So that's a good thing. So 1.37 miles from the trailhead. So I'll probably go about two miles total from the parking lot. And down we go. I think this is the right way. Yeah, you got to go back up this way. It's actually, not, like I said, not very steep, just a little bit dry. Okay, I think we have one water crossing. I think I keep going straight here. Oh, over the log. Let's figure out how to get through. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. This is great. Hang on, let me take my bug net off. <laughs> I can't see anything. Okay. All right, let's figure out how to get across here. Okay, this is where you cross. So it shouldn't be too hard. Let me uh, secure my phone so I don't drop it. Oh, a little muddy. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. I have waterproof shoes on, so I'm not worried about getting wet. Okay. <laughs> All right, one more step. How am I gonna do this? I'm gonna step down here first. 
uh, and then step over the bumbling brook and there we go okay all right more bugs okay let's go oh shit <laughs> there it is there's the arch oh that is awesome wow that was worth it okay sorry <laughs> there's the sunrise and there's the arch and just for proof of life i'm actually way down here because it's pretty steep up there but i'm gonna climb up there a little bit go up these rocks and take a look that was great how fun what a fun hike okay let's go up and explore There it is. Oh, that was good. That was a good hike. So this is day three without power in Houston. So my apartment is still without power. I can tell because my uh, doorbell camera isn't working. Um, usually that's an indication that there's no power because there's no uh, Wi-Fi and no internet. So, um, but anyway, yeah, my neighbors are like dying of heat stroke out there because it's like, 100 degrees and humid and uh there's no uh no electricity i'm pretty sure all the nice new groceries that i bought uh, in my freezer are pretty much ruined all my uh, smoothie uh, fruits and all my pizzas and everything else that i bought it's okay i mean some of that stuff can be refrigerated so even as long as it's cold and it doesn't like get warm and heat up but last time we had the big freeze and i had no electricity for four days uh, my fridge uh, uh, shorted out and became a second freezer <laughs> and then it took them three years to finally fix it because I have like not the greatest landlord anyway thankfully I'm leaving the apartment so anyway but much rather be here <laughs> that's the nice thing about having a camper van is that you can get the hell out of wherever you are and go somewhere else and at least have somewhere to stay for free so okay walking back and then I'm going to drive over to the next hike and then go over to Bishop's Castle so this is great what a beautiful morning I am back at the road that took an hour and a half and so now I'm going to walk back this way. That was really really awesome. Oh there's a smidgen of snow on the mountain over there. Teeny tiny little bit of snow. It's interesting I've never, let's see, I have been to Colorado Springs and Monument and when I went to go visit a friend of mine uh, a couple years ago, I think in 2020 I was here in July and it was quite hot but I've never um, been through Colorado like in the dead of summer um only like I think the the latest I came here was maybe like June 1st and then uh was back here I think I was here yeah I was here um uh Memorial Day weekend yeah so Memorial Day 2022 when I went to uh, Rocky Mountain National Park and uh Mesa Verde and uh Black Canyon of the Gunnison so I did those three national parks in the same trip and then went on the Durango to Silverton train and it was all still very cold and then I got caught in a blizzard in Vail uh, between Vail and Copper, uh, Copper Mountain on the I-70 for like five hours and that was like June 1st 2022. Um, so last year I only went to Durango and Silverton so I didn't come to Colorado at all I think except that little bit and then back into Durango in October uh, to film the tiny home tours so I stayed mostly on the western side so this is great this is all kind of new territory for me um, going back into uh, down into Buena Vista and up into Aspen I was here in 2019 uh, with like a tourist person that didn't hike or do anything and I don't think even work out and so it was like we didn't do anything we went to like a couple of national parks in Utah and a couple of places and it was all just like you know go to a restaurant take a picture of the sign and uh, do nothing <laughs> so or the top 10 trip advisor things I'm like you know what this is what I do I hike I mountain bike I you know I look for the hidden gems and I look for things that are on like MTB project or all trails or uh, trail forks that's what I look for I don't necessarily you know want to do like the uh you know the top 10 things on Yelp <laughs> it's like I don't really care about that anyway I think I'm going the right way I think I go down here yeah let me figure this out I can hear the digger logging over there there goes a tree please don't hit my car Sweet home and the uh, logger is over there. Okay, we're done. 
All right, let's go to the second hike. I'm on a logging road that is actually a pretty nice road uh, for driving a two-wheel drive van. Um, so now I'm gonna go to the mine, the secret abandoned mine. Uh, it's only a three mile trail and then after that Bishop's Castle is right there, but people live out here. So the roads are, are pretty well maintained. Um, yeah, no washboard or anything, which is good. Not yet at least. So yes, yeah, so I just take this. Um, I don't have any cell reception, so I'm not entirely sure. Uh, <laughs> How far I have to go, I'm just following Google Maps on all trails since that uh, can work offline. So I know there's other like offline programs. You can use like Onyx, I think is one of them. Um, there's uh, maps.me, you know, where you can download Google Maps um, offline, but I just use all trails because that, that works regardless. The dirt road wasn't very long. So now I'm gonna go into Lake Isabel Recreation Center and uh, go up to the mine. Hopefully the road is paved. If not, I'll just go check out the lake and then go on to Bishop's Castle. Okay, this is a fee area. So let's see. Uh, day use parking fee is $10. Is there anybody in here? Uh, pass is accepted. Oh, cool, okay. Well, check this out. I get um, passes below. Camping discounts. Okay, passes are not valid for extra vehicles. Okay, so um, okay, so it's free. For uh, let me zoom in here. I have uh, two of those. <laughs> I have military and access. So let me get my little um, handy dandy little pass here. I'll show you. So let me get this America's the Beautiful holder, and I'll go put my um, pass in the uh, window, and then it's free. Okay, cool. I love it when there's uh, recreation people recreating here and they don't know the rules. They don't know. I asked them, I was like, I think it's free. I think the fee is free um, because, uh, well, that's pretty. It's a pretty lake. Um, I think it's free because uh, I have a national park pass. Anyway, I'm sure this is going to be busy like on the weekends. This is really pretty. This is um, the Lake Isabel recreation area. Who knew? Had no idea. So I'm just going to keep driving and try to figure out how to get to the mine trail. I'm hoping that I can just park on this kind of road and then just walk up. I don't mind walking a little extra. But yeah, that first hike was fantastic. And then they've got all these like little pullouts that you can park in and walk down to the lake. And I'm pretty sure you can swim in the lake. So yeah, there's lots of uh, people with paddle boards. My paddle board is still welded to my roof. <laughs> so it's been up there for a year and a half. I haven't bothered to take it down. So anyway, so yeah, I love all the stairs. I I maybe I can dump my toilet out here too. That would also be something I definitely need to do. So let's keep going. This is really pretty. Lake Isabel. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. What you're looking at is me. What you're looking at this. This is also pretty, pretty dapper. <laughs> this is not, you know, I don't know. I think I'm okay on the eyes. Um, but that is beautiful though. Okay, a lot of people. It's, uh, it's still only like 10 o'clock on a Tuesday. Is it a yeah, it's a Tuesday, 10 o'clock on a Tuesday. So, um, all these people with dirt bikes and everything. They always stare at my van because they're like, what the hell is that crap? Um, anyway, but yeah, okay, so I'm gonna keep going. I've got four minutes till I get to another road. And there's all this camping up here. So I get 50% off camping and I get free entry. So I think that's why I don't have a Colorado State Park Pass. I think because it's free for me with the National Park Pass and the Military Pass and whatever else I have. There is tons of parking. Yeah, I think on the weekends, this place is probably packed to the brim. I wouldn't mind actually camping down here, but I need to be in Manitou Springs tonight. So maybe had I known that they had camping, I would have camped out here. There's no cell reception though. And that kind of like is something that I kind of need <laughs> when I was working on videos last night. I got another video done. I need to, uh, I exported it. I need to upload it. So I think I'll do that when I'm in Wi-Fi later. Um, but yeah, this is fantastic. Okay, let's go find our next hiking trail. Okay, it's gotten a little overcast. There is a toilet over there, so I can dump out my pee jug. And this is the Cisneros Trailhead. A bunch of Colorado rednecks just pulled up with their trailers to go dirt biking. This is great. This is a day use. Oh, I got to put my um, pass on there. Hang on. Let me go back and do that just so I can be legit. I love it that you can also register, which I guess is good if you get lost. <laughs> then they know you've been out here. Uh, let's see. Bear aware. 14 day limit, okay. And uh, register here, please sign in. Do not rely on this register for search and rescue. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where they're riding. I guess you can ride up here. I don't know, it says no motorized vehicles. Okay, so yeah, this is just a 3.3 mile out and back to the mine. And I've been to some mines like in uh, 
uh, what is it, uh, Isle Royale National Park. I hiked the nine mile loop from uh, Windigo. Had my own cabin, it was fantastic, took a seaplane. The most disappointing mine in the world. <laughs> so yeah, they do have motorcycle. I guess they can ride. Yeah, so they have trailer parking, so I guess you can ride a motorcycle up here. I guess it's like enduro or something, I don't know. Not my style, <laughs> so I guess you can mountain bike too. Oh, the flowers are pretty. Yeah, we're not in uh, spring anymore, we're in summer, so there's no like wildflowers. They'll probably have them in the fall as well. Oh, Colorado, what is this rain cloud? Go away, go away, rain. Rain, rain, go away, come back never. <laughs> so actually I like rain, I just don't like the dysfunctional rain where it's like people die and things get flooded and the electricity goes out. Okay, up we go. Oh, that was a steep climb. The campsite is down there. So yeah, motorcycles are allowed. That's interesting, I've never seen that. Well, not in a while. And now I'm on the Cisneros uh, trail. So the group sites are down there. And then I just keep going up here. Once you get up the steep part and it's kind of shaded, this is absolutely beautiful. There's a river down there. I think that's the one that runs through to the lake. And uh, yeah, I don't know how far up I'm going now. I'm going down a little bit. Um, I'm about just over two thirds of the way on the, the hike. So it's out and back. Very, very kid friendly. Um, there is a bit of, a bit of a climb at the beginning, but it's not terrible. Um, it's basically flat like this, no rocks or anything. Um, so pretty easy and yeah i'm the only one on the trail <laughs> i don't hear the motorcycles yet so i'm sure they'll be barreling down here pretty soon <laughs> i don't know <laughs> i'm so far ahead of them right now um but anyway so yeah so i'm gonna go to this mine and then head back so yeah this is great so yeah two uh so it's probably about eight miles total for hiking today um, so that's because uh, Bishop's uh, Castle is a one mile walk and then this is about three and a half miles and the other one was uh, 4.2 miles. So yeah, so that's good. I, I try to do at least one activity a day, um, whether it's uh, hiking, mountain biking. I didn't obviously work out yesterday because I was driving and I didn't work out over the weekend because uh, I had Harriet and I uh, just wanted to rest and sleep in and sort the apartment out. And then Friday was a flying uh, day, so I didn't uh, work out that day. So at least I was doing something. I was, <laughs> you know, definitely uh, mommy time, definitely um, burns up a lot of calories. Um, but yeah, and why do people do this? JH and KM, nobody cares about your engagement. Oh, this just bothers me. John and Phyllis, again, we don't care. <laughs> anyway, write something like winning lottery numbers or something, something useful that I could use. I don't really care about your, you know, so-and-so loves so-and-so. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, these are pretty though. Are these aspen trees or birch trees? I don't know. I always get confused. There's an intersection that's the Cisneros Trail and then the mine trail is straight ahead, I believe. So here's the cabin. I don't know if you can go in it. That's pretty cool. That must have been a hell of a trek. Actually, no, <laughs> I was gonna say, to carry the materials. The materials are all are from up here. So you have to chop a couple of trees down then you can build a, a cabin there. I don't know if this is one of those cabins you can actually stay in. Let me go check it out. That would be a negative. That's private property, no trespassing. There's an owl carved onto a tree. That's pretty cool. And then this is the uh, bumbling brook. Beautiful. So walking a little bit past here, you'll get to the mine. That's the abandoned mine. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I guess the end of the mine trail, you just go up to the top. I wouldn't stand on the mine if I were you, but if you go to Joshua Tree and you go to the Cactus Grove, um, there is actually a trail that goes all the way up to the old tin mine up there and that was really really cool you can actually go inside it a little bit not all of it um, but yeah i don't know when this was abandoned i guess they used the water power for uh maybe panning for gold i have no idea if you keep going a little bit further there's actually a waterfall of course i need a waterfall Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. That is gorgeous. Oh, Colorado. 
<laughs> oh wow, that is amazing. I'm on my way down and I hear some uh, motorcycles. <laughs> so let's see. So yeah, this is Narrows Trail. Once they come up here, they can just take a left and go around. Uh, I don't think they can go up to the mine on those motorcycles. Um, but yeah, let's see what they're doing down here. So this is the stuff Jeff used to do before he had his accident. And he's crashed a lot of times, but you crash 20 years, you know, 20 times in 20 years, and then you ride off a cliff and lose your leg. So I'm very, very sensitive to this. I hope they're wearing helmets. Yes, they are. Okay. The mama bear in me is gonna be like you guys. Anyway, okay, let's go. Okay, I'm back at Prudent down here. So just be careful. There are people in ATVs that come up here and you can't get by. So I got stuck there for like 10 minutes. I'm like, dude, I, I'm not gonna fall down a mountain to get past you. So it's kind of weird. I don't, I, he said like, I, I said to the old guy, I was like, this is a hiking trail. He goes, no, it's not. Okay, so trail courtesy, you have to yield. So that guy didn't yield. Um, okay. All right, so I guess they have to be registered, so you can use it. Trails 50 inches, spark arresters are required. I don't know, that seemed like a little bit big for being on a trail like this, but who knows? I don't know what people do out here. <laughs> it's like people with money that have all those fancy toys. Um, but yeah, on here it says, okay, yeah, so you can have motorcycles and ATVs. Just be careful because, you know, this, the first guy was a jerk, he wouldn't move. And the second guy with the girl, little girl was okay. Um, he was like, here, let me move over a little because these can go up on the side. So they can go up a little bit and let you by. But the first guy was not even budging. And I'm like, I cannot go anywhere. I cannot get past you unless you move. So anyway, okay, let me dump out my toilet. And that was good. So there's a couple other hikers just started and that was great. It was a fantastic trail. So yeah, two good trails, two hidden gems. Um, busy in the uh, summer. I'm sure this is packed on the weekends. But yeah, let me see if I can get my toilet out and then I'm going to make a little bit of lunch. I'm going to go down and park in one of the uh, picnic areas, make some lunch, and uh, yeah, then get on to Bishop's Castle. This is the lake. What kind of bird is that? I know nothing about birds. There's a meme that says like, you know, you go your whole life completely indifferent about birds and then all of a sudden you're like, oh my god, there's a yellow jacket warbler. <laughs> It's like, I didn't care about birds until I was in my, you know, 40s. Anyway, there's Lake Isabel. Really, really pretty, very calm. You can walk down, there's a, a stairwell. So you can walk down to the lake there, go paddle boarding. It feels gorgeous out here. It is, uh, I was a little toasty on the, on the hike because I was hiking and I was in the sun. Um, but the main road's over there. I gotta get to the main road. So I'll figure out how to do that. And then I'm gonna go about six miles up the road to Bishop's Castle. Um, but I think I'm gonna stop for a minute. That's <laughs> my shit parking job, sorry. Let me park a bit better and then I think I'm going to uh, make um, some lunch. I'm gonna have some crackers with cheese, little charcuterie board kind of thing. And yeah, oh my God, it feels so good. It's about 65, 70 degrees right now. Colorado. I always kind of dismiss Colorado because my heart's in New Mexico. But once I get out here and I just see how lush and green it is, I realize that this is exactly what I need right now instead of a hurricane. And I just met some people from Houston from East Houston and they're like, yeah, our house is either underwater or without power. And so they came up here Sunday morning. Um, so yeah, all the Texans are all up here. Okay, let me make some lunch. Um, maybe I'll open my door. Ooh, there's a concept. Yeah, let me park a bit better, open my door and make a little bit of lunch. And it's only noon, so I've got plenty of time to get to Manitou Springs. All I have is a Zoom call tonight at 6 p.m. Um, and I don't really have anything else to do today. So yeah, just kind of drive up. Um, I might go I don't know, I might go into Colorado Springs and go back to the um, uh, the Paralympic Museum. I did a video on it before. I'm not going to do a video again, but um, I might find something to do in Colorado Springs if I've got time. Or maybe get groceries, um, run some errands, and then just park up in Manitou uh, in the evening. So, yeah, maybe find a Starbucks in Colorado Springs, actually, so I can do my Zoom. Yeah, because the Manitou Springs, I'm just parking in a parking lot, so I'm not too bothered. Anyway, let me make some lunch. Let me open the door and, uh, yeah, get something to eat. There's the bikers I saw earlier. They came out here. Um, I guess they came down this way. That was pretty cool. That was quick. <laughs> this is the Bishop's Castle um, parking area. You just park on the side of the road. So I got a good parking spot right here in the sun. Something is dinging. When I turn my van off, it dings. Anyway, you can climb all the way up there. What a gaudy, gaudy monstrosity. 
There's lots of kids as well. This is fun. This is a good like wind down. I guess the guy just built a castle. I'm British, so this is a, uh, you know, oh, you call this a castle? Okay. It's kind of like, um, what is it? Crocodile Dundee. It's like, oh, you call that a knife? <laughs> it's like, this is a knife. All right, let's get my running shoes on. I don't think I need hiking boots for this. All right, so we've got Texans and then we got Texans. Seriously. I'm just gonna say, if you, I don't understand these. It's like what my friend said, if someone told a two-year-old to draw a DeLorean, this is what they would come up with. This is probably the one from Houston. It can tow something too. Anyway. So there are a bunch of rules. Bishop's Castle is under construction. Really, it looks like it's not even finished yet. Okay. Attention, read all signs, must sign a guest book. It's a release of liability. I mean, I built my van, but I don't think I could build my own castle. Okay. All right, let's go in. This is uh, questionable. I don't think uh, it's OSHA regulated. <laughs> it's like one guy built this out of rocks. That is quite phenomenal though. I mean, I guess you can just climb on whatever you want. So I have to sign something. And there's this here. Okay, no graffiti or tagging. And let's see. Okay, you can go up these stairs. There's souvenirs, ice cream and snacks. This is great, this is so weird. Why am I here? Holy shit, okay, that's why I'm here. There's goats, there's mountain goats. All right, I don't know which way I go up. I guess I'll go in. And there's the goats. Okay. <laughs> this is like enter at your own risk. Get a tetanus shot. This buttress down here with the steps on it, this was the very first of the flying buttresses. One of the things that a lot of people don't know is the castle is all dug into bedrock. It's sitting right on solid rock. And that buttress right there goes 15 feet into the ground. So there's a whole part of the castle that you don't see that's underground. This roof, each one of those sheets, he bent from a flat piece and put them on himself. These were a form that he built, and during the winter months, he would pour these, haul them up with the cable, set them in place. The only part of the castle you'll find that my dad didn't build. He installed the stained glass, but most of the stained glass is built by a couple various artists. This ironwork right here is kind of unique to the structure as well. My dad had dropped out of high school when he was 15 to do the ironwork in Pueblo. And so the castle's got all kinds of this ornamental iron. In the early years, it was just weekends in the summer. The rest of the time, it worked for a living. They the patio covers, window guards, railings, stuff like that. Okay, I'm gonna figure out how to get up. <laughs> This is great. This guy like built this decades ago. Oh, I don't know how to get in. Okay, I guess we go this way. Still under construction. All right, let's go up. This is fun. I will definitely buy something because this is definitely worth it. Okay, oh wow. Okay, let's go up. Oh wow, this is, <laughs> this is pretty crazy. This is awesome, who knew? <laughs> Okay, so that's one way down. I guess they're climbing up. She can't get down, she's stuck. How did she get up there? Oh, we can go further up. Okay, so let me go out here. There's some people dressed up for like some photo shoot or maybe they work here. Yeah, people did sign their names and stuff. We got the uh, medieval crew. Oh, sorry. That's right. Okay, now I'm on a questionable metal grate thing. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm actually kind of terrified about this. I don't know if I want to be walking out here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back in. Good. Okay. 
There we go. Okay. Sorry. All right. <laughs> Let's go up further. This is fantastic. I don't know why this is like making me smile so much. Can I go up higher? Yeah. Let's go up there. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, now I'm going up to the top. And to watch your head as well. Okay. So this is not an exit. <laughs> Let's keep going up, all the way up. I think I'm in the spire, actually. <laughs> I mean, this has been here since the 70s, but still, the guy built this all himself. There's the other walkway. That's where I came up. Did I come up here earlier? Okay. Marginally terrified. <laughs> okay, up we go. Everyone's like walking with caution. Oh, I'm at the top. <laughs> Did not want to go all the way up here. Okay. Because ah. It's not safe up here. Okay. <laughs> I actually don't. I actually don't want to be all the way up here. I'm actually a little terrified. I don't like this. Okay, let me go down. Have survived. <laughs> let me go see what else they have. Uh, oh, they've got a souvenir shop. Okay, let me go see the souvenirs. That was pretty cool. You could uh, climb all the way up wherever you want to go. That's scary. All right, I got a magnet. I'm going to go in the last bit over here. And where's my van? Where is she? Oh Prudence is over there. There she is. There's my girl. All right, I think I'm done. <laughs> that was funny. There's a princess up there. Of course, everybody's photo bombing. <laughs> it's like, wrong day to come out and do a photo shoot. And there's goats, and the goats eating up the tree. <laughs> That was actually really fun. <laughs> cyber truck has left. I have to check the video from when I was in Houston to see if it's the same cyber truck. But yeah, it's like freaking Texans. We got Texas, Florida, Wisconsin, Colorado, Colorado. Yeah, we'll probably see more Texans like, I don't know, Texan? No, Colorado. 